Hey there, this is Carl Walenskis with Smart Company Growth, and today we're going to talk about marketing your business with content. You know content is king from listening to internet people and folks like me talking about content. If you know me, you know I talk a lot about video content in my video interviews, but today we're going to talk about good old garden variety written word content. Now it comes as no surprise that I am going to expect that you are a good writer and you can write a few words and put them together to make them sound cogent and somewhat entertaining. That goes without saying. However, one of the things you need to do in addition to writing for that audience as professional blogger extraordinaire John Chow says is you need to be able to write secondarily for Google and writing for the search engines. And that's not always an easy task because some of the things you think are going to be popular keywords or key phrases that will get your articles or your website copy pushed into the top five ranking in Google or Yahoo or Bing just aren't so. So I'm going to show you how to use something called the Google AdWords keyword tool which you may have heard of and first I'll dispel the myth that this is not a tool that needs a Google AdWords account for you to use so let's just start by going there and hitting Google AdWords keyword tool in the Google search box and searching and boom there it is it comes right up on the first page and I'll have this link in the blog post below this video on my web page and you come up with a keyword tool the first thing you do let's just take care of the recapture code down here and these things seem to be getting longer and longer as we go in and harder and harder to read but I think I've got it correct. You'll only be asked that once. Let, let's put in a phrase here and just see what happens and we'll go through some of these things. And I'm going to move this over so you can see something that's important because they've changed this tool around here. It says match types, broad, exact, or phrase. I'm going to click phrase and I'll tell you why I do that. Because people search using two to three word phrases. If you put in something that, that doesn't have quotes around it as far as what you're trying to optimize on. Now people enter their searches without quotes around them. Most people don't even know what that is. However, people usually don't search for a word like sales. So if you if you find the Google AdWords uh, tool of sales, you'll find that it has very little competition and millions and millions of hits. That's because it's used in conjunction with hundreds of thousands of other words. Uh, all of which contain the word sales, but no one searches just for sales. And the chances of you coming up by optimizing on the word sales are infinitesimal to zero. And infinitesimal just left town. So we're going to put in two to three word phrases and then look at see what happens. Let's, let's pick something that might be topical today with all the interest of the uh, international monetary supply and what's going on. Let's choose something like... Uh, buying gold. You hear a lot of people talking about buying gold. You see ads on television. We already did the recapture, so let's do a search on buying gold. Let's, I'm going to bring this down here, the screen, so we can see these results. Okay. Here's one of the first things that we're seeing is that buying gold came up with a relatively high monthly searches of 60,500 searches. 33 100 locally. Let's just focus on the global monthly. This tells you how many people roughly are searching for that phrase every month on the Google search engine, which happens to be the big dog in the pack. So it's a good barometer for us. This competition says hi. Now this keyword tool, if you're used to it, used to have bar graphs, horizontal bar graphs in it that the more filled in they were, the higher the competition was, the less it was less. Now they just use the words high, medium, and low. So let's take a look at some of these other words that are here. Okay, we've got buying gold at 60,000. And then we have some of these other things. Look at buy gold is high at 301,000. So just buy gold. Uh, you know, if you want to compete on the phrase buy gold in your articles or on your website copy, you have a good, you know, have you have the, the, the benefit of 301,000 people searching for it or searches for it a month, but you have extremely high competition for it. What we're actually looking for in these two to three word phrases are low competition, high global monthly searches, and we can we can learn some things here. So what I'm going to do, instead of seeing this as organized in terms of high searches, I think it's actually organized in terms of volume, I'm going to click on this competition button right here and let that change over to low. And maybe I have to click it twice. 
Now we're in low competition. And let's see what else we can have. Okay, so we have gold news low. Now if you were going to write an article or a web page based on buying gold, this might give you some information that say, you know what, 40,000 people search on gold news and that's got a low competitor rank. You might have a better chance if you embed the words gold news selectively and tastefully into your article or your website page. How to make gold, unless you're a alchemist, that's not going to be maybe relevant for you, but you've got the same dynamic in, in effect. Um, gold shop, gold spot, let's let's go on, I, I, there might be, here's a different one, spot gold, 110,000 people, and gold chart, gold spot, 90,000 people, uh, with low competition, spot gold, 110,000. Look at this one, a million on gold rate. So there's a million searches that have that phrase gold rate in them. Yet the competition for that is very low. And this competition is Google Advertisers, but it also provides a sort of a good um, barometer of how much competition you would get on there and how easy it may or may not be to go after that word. Now gold rate does not seem to be a phrase uh, to me that's going to be so common that people are going to write it. So that's going to be one of those little surprises that we can we can have. And I'm going to take these th two word phrases, spot gold and gold rate, and put them up here just so that you can see all these together. We're going to take a look at that again. You didn't see what I was just typing, but I just typed gold rate, spot gold, and, and uh, what we started with was just buying gold. So here we have two key phrases that we really hadn't thought of to start with that have a much higher return as far as the number of global searches for them, yet much less competition. This would be a way that you can use the keyword tools to start thinking about your content and your copy. And while you may have buying gold because that's relevant to your article or your piece, you may want to inject something like gold rate or spot gold into the piece um, in order to get that done. Now, the reason we talked about using a phrase, I told you about the sales and whatnot. Uh, but if we didn't use a phrase here, it, once you have one word, you may get low competition. That means no one's buying ads for that because they know there's no way that they compete on that. But something like this, spot gold, gold rate, not uh, sort of uncommon terms, two to keyword phrases. Uh, if you get too long, three, four, sometimes they call these long tail keywords. Like you might want to might want to put in something like you know, how to buy gold. And you do a search on that. And if, you're, if your position is, uh, your article is called How to Buy Gold, um, in actuality that still has 27,000 returns a month, except look at your competition. Okay? Uh, maybe there's another way you can change that out and say how to invest in gold. And see what happens there. And again, you still have high competition in 9,900, so even less turns. Uh, maybe how to old go own gold. There'd be a number of different things that you can do here. But the point of this entire vlog post is to show you how to use the keyword tools. There's pl We could do a whole three hours on how to use this tool super effectively, but what it does is quickly and easily you can find phrases that you hadn't considered that will be good phrases for your written content that's already written exceptionally because of your great authoring skills um, to enable you to write a little bit for the search engines and have a chance of getting that indexed much higher than you otherwise would. Take a look for the blog post and I will see you on the next vlog post. Cheers!